Yeah, what's up guys, SGoodman52, welcome back to another deck review. Now today, we have got a surprise because I have not only got one, two, but three, three deck reviews today. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Now if you haven't already, make sure that you like, subscribe and comment below if you enjoyed any of this video and if there's anything else that you would like to see, just going to give you a timeline coming up. So, I'm expecting Raven's new Kickstarter campaign of the Eclipse, Soul and Manny. So that is coming at some point, hopefully fulfillment's getting done at the end of the month, so I will be reviewing them as and when they come in. But I thought I would do these ones today. So every year, Carter Mundi and the Copag sort of range, they do a new Neo collection. So last year was like Mandela effects, and they're really cool. I've got a couple of them. But I won these in an Instagram giveaway from Mad About Cards, and I will leave his Instagram below. Do check out his videos and his pictures, his animated gifts. They are really, really good and high quality, something that I'd strive to all the time. But I won these in a giveaway, and I thought, well, I haven't really opened them and used them, so let's get into that. Let's have a look at them, and yeah, let's just see what's going on with them. So there are three color variation, pattern design, I guess you would say, with the Copag Neos in this one. So we've got this one here. I will say what the real names are later, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna call this one Dotty. This one, Trippy. This one, Wavy. Let's have a little look. Now the cards themselves, I believe, got two jokers, there's a double backer, which is quite a nice pattern, um, and the standard Copeg. So if you've ever had any of the Copeg cards, they come like this. There we go. Um, you've got the standard Ace, which is quite nice. It's got Copeg written in the middle there. They haven't changed anything, and I think these are, because this is a Belgian company, I think these are like the French faces for the courts. As you can see, they're a little bit different, more square, the lettering's more squared. All of the pips are basically the same. They're quite nice. They are printed on linen, true linen, B9. Unlike the other coat bags, I think they were just on paper. So that is wavy. That's pretty dope. They all come pretty much the same in there, so they're gonna have the same sort of amount of jokers. But it's the pack designs are very nice on this. Let's have a look at Dotty. And these feel really nice. These feel just like the, oh, there you go. There's a double backer. Got a cool pattern. Oh, very nice, very nice indeed. So yeah, these are quite cool actually. Something like I said, I wouldn't do magic with, but they are something that I would use at a games night potentially. Uh, but they are quite a nice sort of addition to my collection. Oh, I forgot to tell you. So, uh, in one of my other videos, I said that my tripod was broken. Well, today I have a new tripod turn up and I've got some lenses as well to go. So I've got like a wide round lens, I've got a fisheye and a macro. So let's just have a little play around with them.
basically the same. I'm gonna give all three of them as one review. So for aesthetics, I'm gonna give it a seven out of 13. For handling, a nine out of 13. For durability, because it's B9 True Linen, 11 out of 13, because that stuff lasts forever. And for practicality, I'm gonna give it a nine out of 13, giving this an overall score of 36 out of 52. So for all of you saying, oh well, you know, the durability and stuff like that, this is my Copag 310 Red. Now I've had the same pack of these since May 2018. So by the time this video goes up, it will be nearly the end of January. <clears throat> and I use them pretty much every day since. And I just want to show you so that still pretty white. Cars themselves are still pretty good and they still handle really well. I mean, admittedly, these are thicker than most cards, but they don't go clumpy. You know, they all stick together. They still handle quite well, they still dribble quite well. So that just goes to show that the true B9 linen is where it's at in terms of preserving the cards. They just feel amazing. Anyway guys, I really hope that you enjoyed me just messing around with the macro, the fish lens and the wide angle. Um, hopefully we get to see them more in videos coming up. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you like, you subscribe and you check out my Instagram. I'll leave the link below in the description box. And you drop me a follow because it really helps me if I get those follows and those likes up on the posts. Anyway guys, hopefully see you on the next one. Bye. Nah, still here.